if I, I could have sworn if you had told me this movie was written and directed by like a 14 year old who thought that's what high school was like I'd be like that makes sense this movie is written by a 14 year old that's what she thinks her senior year is going to be like hey guys welcome to movie blah blah I'm Jordan and I'm Daria and we're here reviewing a Netflix movie I thought it'd be a nice change of pace yeah to review a Netflix movie and so uh, Daria what did we watch we watched the movie Dude. So basically this movie follows Lucy Hale and her three friends as they, you know, have a nice last year of high school and try and celebrate it. They smoke a lot of weed, they go to parties, they fall in love, they fall out of love or seemingly fall in love. There's death. There's death. This movie has everything. Uh, Daria, what did you think of Dude? Garbage. What? Literal garbage. What? Do you disagree? This was a masterpiece. It was garbage. It, it was, was garbage. garbage. So, such garbage, he needs to drink after that. I do. I need a drink after this. Yeah, um, so, yeah, so what did you not like? There was... They were all over the place. So, basically, <coughs> this movie, it would just... It would set up something, and then just completely forget to pay it off. Yeah, or, like, the th this guy randomly shows interest in Lucy Hale's character... Asks her to prom in front of the entire class. She turns him down. Uh, um, and then they hook up. But then he's like, watch out for my ex. And later that night, after they hooked up, he's like back with his ex. And yeah. then he gets mad at her for being upset at him. Yeah. Well, this is after he had asked Lucy Hale to meet, for her to meet his parents. Yeah. And she was like, I don't want to date whatever. And he's like, no, I don't want to date either. I just want you to meet my parents. Yeah. Like, that's not I know weird. You're, I know you're leaving. I just want to be random hookups, but I want you to meet my parents. And then, yeah. Yeah, and then, like, from the beginning, it's like, this guy dies. In the most when, hilarious car crash sequence ever. We literally had to rewind it to watch it again. It was literally like, oh, they're hanging out at this park. And then they go home, cuts to black, all you hear is a car crash. <laughs> it was like iMovie sound effects. <laughs> and then, and then it's, uh, sirens. And then it cuts to his photo. Death. Yeah, I, at a funeral. It was like 1990 to whatever. And it was like, what? What happened? Yeah, like, did, wait, did, did he die? Did like, they not have the budget to shoot it? Did they ran out of time? I don't know. It was very bizarre. <laughs> And then one of the friends had a drinking problem that was never addressed. There was a rape that was never addressed. A student was in love with her teacher and he was in love with her. Then... Yeah. So this movie, the the word I'd use is inconsistent. Mm -hmm. It was totally inconsistent. It was inconsistent with his plot lines. So the movie, it started off like it was super depressing with the car crash and the funeral. And I thought this was going to be really serious. But then it gets to like some like... It tries to do these big jokes, but it didn't work because the tone was right off like, you know, it's trying to it's trying to be super bad after trying to be like super serious. Yeah. And then after halfway through, it tried to be super serious again, and it was like, is this movie supposed to make me laugh? Is this supposed to make me cry? Like. And it was just missing all the beats. It was like. After you see the funeral, they're sad for a second. One year later, they pull up to school. They're all smoking weed. I've never mm. seen so many people, like, so much smoking in a film that is in this film. It was disturbing. Like, sure, I had friends in high school that smoked, but they weren't constantly smoking. It, and, like, the parents didn't have a problem with it. The school faculty staff didn't have a problem with it. They were, like, literally pulling in their car and just be, like, a smoke hot box. Yeah. And they come out and no one said anything about it. But um, even like cigarettes, like the mom comes up and they're all they all have a cigarette in their hand because that's all they do is they constantly have cigarettes in their hand, mm -hmm. and like the mom all of a sudden has a cigarette in her hand, and uh, yeah, they well, didn't address like one girl's parents were getting divorced and she became an alcoholic, but that they never said anything about that. Yeah, yeah, at the beginning they're like, so what's time with your parents' divorce? And she's like, I'm, I'm so messed up over it, blah, blah, blah. But then they like never resolve that. Like, I want to know what happened with their parents. The movie didn't seem to care. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was just super bizarre. And yeah, it was trying to be a comedy and like the comedic timing wasn't right. Like the camera movements to set up jokes weren't right. And it was like, they're trying to play it. Like I get if you want to be your movie to be like natural, like naturalistic, kind of like a mumblecore thing, like that's one thing. 
but then it would be like natural, but then it had like this big comedy bit where the dogs take drugs and they're communicating via text. Yeah. And it was just like, that felt so out of place in this otherwise serious movie that otherwise addressed rape. And <laughs> and then yeah. all that was addressing it was, last night f- sucked. Um, you guys weren't there, like to her friends. They weren't there. Yeah, she's the one who asked this guy to go up to the room. And though she said no in the beginning and then he still did it, she was just like, but I'm fine. Yeah, Lucy Hale's character, just like, because the story needed her to, she just became this, like, monster, just lashed out at everyone. Yeah. And she just, like, I got, you know, she didn't say it out rightly, but she was like, something fucked up to me, it was because you're guys' fault. And they are like, we, your phone was off, we couldn't text you. And she was like, yeah. it doesn't matter, you're going out to college. And she's like, that's what I want to do. And she's like, well, you're bringing on our friends group. And yeah, it was just, it became super depressing, and then tried to do comedy. Yeah. And, yeah. And then, like, there was an argument that didn't make sense, and we're like, wait, why are they arguing? Like, the guy who got back with his girlfriend, but then she's upset about that. But, like, he wanted her to meet his parents. We were just like, what's happening? Like, where did this... Yeah. They would just, like, throw in arguments that didn't make sense, like the one with a friend going off to college. Like, it's just like, let's just throw in a random argument and now everyone's upset, and everyone's yeah. being torn apart, and it just it was inconsistent. It didn't make sense. We're like, oh, okay, here's another. Yeah, it was like just, the movie was, like, revamping every ten minutes. It was like, oh, now it's about this. Yeah. But now it's a comedy. But now it's about rape. But now it's about alcoholism. And it was like, what? But like, let's never address any of these things. Yeah. And then, <laughs> so, this movie became focused on Lucy Hale. I like Lucy Hale. But, like, the trailer seemingly makes it, like, an ensemble piece. Yeah. Like, the other supporting characters, uh, they were, like, not seen for the longest time. Like, the one girl played by played by Aquafina, I think that's her real name uh. in her life. Uh, she, like, has a crush on her librarian teacher guy. But then, so that happens in, like, the first 20 minutes. Yeah, and then, she, like, like, masturbates to him in the bathroom. That was so weird. Yeah. And uh, because it wasn't established, it was, like... The movie was established as a drama, mm-hmm. and then it was a comedy. Yeah. It was weird. Uh, so she has a crush on her librarian teacher, and that's established in the first 20 minutes. And then, like, an hour goes by, and we hear nothing of that. And then, like, they start talking, and it's like, I wanted that to, like, be, like, I wanted more scenes with them. I wanted yeah. more scenes with the girl and her divorced parents. Mm-hmm. And the whole movie became focused on Lucy Hale being a monster, and it was like, that just became depressing and miserable. Um <sighs> yeah, so now I'm, I'm drinking. I'm like that one girl. Yeah. And, and then, like, in the end, the Asian girl and the the teacher shows up to their graduation party. And she's like, I'm 18 now. Now we graduate. Like, I graduated, so it's fine. Come meet my mom. Like, whose mom is going to be? Hi, this is my teacher, and now we're dating. Yeah, so bizarre. There's a part where Lucy Hale gets in a cab and, like, mm-hmm. very... Briefly, there's a shot of the cab driver looking up in rearview mirror, and I was like, "I'm gonna guess that woman." That forced shot was a cameo by the director, and then I uh, I looked it up, and it was. Okay. I don't know. So yeah, there's here's my thing with Netflix movies. There's so many of them that it's like, and they have so many stars. It's like, oh, I need to see that. I need to see that. So I saw a Dude pop up, and I was like, oh, I want to see that. But it's like the quality of Netflix yeah. movies. Netflix quality over quantity. We were so excited. Exactly. We were yep. so excited in the beginning when you first started coming out with original content because yeah. it was all great. All of the content you came out with in the beginning was great. Now you're just pumping out things. There's too many things for us to watch. No one really cares that it's a Netflix original anymore. Yeah. And like the quality just isn't there. It's overwhelming. And for like so many things, it's like I can't keep up with it. Yeah. It's like the. Remember whenever House of Cards season two, like season one, season two was released? It was like oh, Netflix's new thing is out. I yeah. have to watch. Did you watch Netflix's new? And now yeah, it's just like, is new black. Yeah. Now yeah. it's like every time I log in, it's like, what's the annoying trailer on my Netflix today? Oh, yeah. Get out of here. And so yeah, so, I, it's just missing every. Yeah. Hit it's trying to make. I don't know why Netflix compelled to get this. Um, uh, another thing I want to say is like high school movies. I'm not saying every high school movie has to be the same or whatever. But, like I like my high school. This was like the least high school movie yeah. ever. Yeah. Like, all the high schoolers, high school characters had tattoos like on mm-hmm. their rib cages and arms. You saw and- La- Lucy Hale topless and I'm like, okay, I was, 
uh, I was like thrown off by that. Disturbing. Like disturbing. They randomly hook up and she's just like boobs everywhere and yeah. the sex scene is just okay. It That's, just yeah. I was not expect. It, it's not high school. It didn't have that innocence vibe. Yeah. I feel like we're watching like mid twenty year olds just partying, clubbing. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't like that. And I I like my high school movies where it's like kind of like Harry Potter. Hogwarts is like a character in its own right. Mm-hmm. You start to like the hallways of Hogwarts. Mm-hmm. You know. You start to like their little school outfits. And like even the graduation scene, they didn't even have. Caps and gowns. They just, well, they had the cap, but there was but no they gown. But they didn't have gowns. Like, really? Yeah. Did you not have a budget for that? It was, like, I don't understand. Uh, it missed. I don't know. It's just, I'm so upset. Well, that's all we have to say about this. That's, yeah. I can't, I can't believe it. Why did you do this to me, dude? Why? Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Turn on the notifications so you, uh, Mm -hmm. know when we come out with a new review that you should watch.